Okay, so I have the CNC machine, half weapon running, and I wanna test it. Just draw some doodles and see roughly how accurate and repeatable the motions are. Uh, right now, I have a Sharpie taped to the uh, Z axis, and it does an okay job. It'll draw some lines, but with that line thickness, it's really hard to see how accurate it is. So I think this ballpoint pen would do a better job, but there's one problem we have to overcome, and that's that the work surface is not perfectly flat. This is a plasma machine, it's not a milling machine. No matter how hard we try, the work surface will not be thousands of an inch flat. And to even try that would be a fool's errand, okay? Because it's a plasma. When you're running a plasma, it doesn't actually matter. Fuck me, my millennial is showing. I get to stop saying actually so much. Anyway, with the Sharpie, uh, that will compensate for changes in the Z height with the felt tip. Because that tip is kind of spongy and it will compress and expand as the work surface varies. A ballpoint has no such thing, so the line will simply fade out when it gets too far away. And that would only take probably a few thousands of an inch. It's not very much. Easy to lose a line. And with the Sharpie, when it does do that compensation, you end up getting a, a varying line thickness, which is also, you know, no good for measuring. So they make specialty uh, plotting pens. But I'm not going to go online and, you know, spend more in shipping than I am for the, the pen itself. That just seems silly. And you can make your own uh, pen mount that has some spring-loaded thing that push the, uh, the pen tip down against the work. But I'm also not going to spend, you know, five hours over-engineering some stupid mount just to draw some doodles, right? So I couldn't help but think that there'd be some easier way to do it with just the pen itself. So here we have a, a Zebra Z-Grip, for what that's worth. I just grabbed it because it's around the house, and it has a, a nice straight cylinder body that will fit, uh, you know, well in some clamp on the z-axis so the operation of this guy is what you're used to there's a button you push it it clicks and then it goes back so there's some spring here that's always trying to retract the ballpoint tip and the only thing that keeps it out is when you push the button down something up here latches and then it unlatches so opening it up and taking a look at the innards we can see what our options are put that grip aside for now Okay, thought I was going to lose that spring, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, so we can see the spring pushes against the cone on one end, and on this little dimple on the ink cartridge on the other. And that's what's always retracting the cartridge and the ballpoint tip at the end. So my initial inclination is to say, hey, put this spring back here, and maybe that'll do it. And the spring will push against the back of the pen, and the little dimple pushing the ballpoint tip forward. So put it back together and see how that goes. And a valid attempt, but that doesn't actually work. Fuck me, again at the actuallys. Anyway, uh, there's too much space, so the spring has nothing to actually push against. But we have solutions for that too. So if we reach into our handy dandy assortment of roll pins and grab two at random, totally at random, I haven't you know, done this before or anything like that, Slide this on here, and this on here. Reassemble it carefully. There we go. Cone goes back on the end. And there we have it. The uh, push button now acts as kind of a spring tension with a low and a high pressure setting. With it up here, you have maybe a quarter inch of travel, you know, the full length of this silver tip here, and, you know, a reasonable amount of pressure. If you click it down, then you have more pressure, but not the full length of travel. It comes up just a little bit short, maybe 3 16 but still pretty good. And there's a little bit of play in the pen tip here, which we could try to get rid of by having some sort of, like, sheath that guides the cartridge or something like that. But again, over-engineering for drawing some doodles, let's not do that. I think this will work well enough.